Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Azure Point to Site VPN using Azure Virtual Network Gateways. First of all, we're going to create all the resources in Azure, and then I'm going to show you how to register the Azure VPN application as an enterprise application in your Azure Active Directory. And then I'm going to show you from an end user's point of view, how to connect to the Azure point to site VPN and access an Azure resource. Um, in this case, it is going to be an Azure virtual machine that I already have in my tenant. So we will be connecting to this test virtual machine using the private IP address of the virtual machine. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and deploy the Azure resources. So as it stands right now, I've got a resource group called Test RG1, which I've deployed this Azure virtual machine. I've also got a virtual network um, that I have created to support this test virtual machine deployment. I'm going to use the same virtual network to deploy the Azure Virtual Network Gateway as well. So first of all, we need to go to the Vnet and click on Subnet and create a gateway subnet. Now I have already created this, so you can click on the plus icon or gateway subnet icon. This is great for me because I already have a gateway subnet, but for you, this will be active for the very first time if you're doing this. So click on gateway subnet, it will automatically populate the details for you and save it and you will have a gateway subnet with a address space that's going to be used by your virtual network gateway. You can also do that by clicking on subnet and selecting subnet purpose virtual network gateway. Now make sure the name is gateway subnet. This has to be exactly like the one that you're seeing here. So gateway subnet should be the name of this um, subnet that is going to get used by the actual virtual network gateway. So once you've created that subnet, go to virtual network gateways and click create virtual network gateway. In here, make sure that you select the correct subscription if you've got multiple subscriptions. Um, give it a name. I'm going to call it AZVPN Gateway one um, and gateway type is VPN. So there are several SKUs to select from depending on the bandwidth and the number of connections that you require. Microsoft has got this table in here that details um, how many maximum number of connections that you can have and the throughput. So you can make um, this decision based on your requirements. For this tutorial, I am just going to use the cheapest one available. So I'm going to go with generation one and gateway one SKU. Virtual network, I'm going to select the test VM VNet and it's going to automatically pick up the subnet that we created in the previous step. And your VPN gateway is going to require a public IP address. So I'm going to create a new public IP address for this um, VPN gateway. So let me just copy the name from here. And I'm just going to call it PIP for public IP. Uh, disable active active mode. That is not necessary for this um, setup. And you do not need BGP for this setup as well. So make sure that you leave all these uh, three settings in the end disable. Uh, I don't need to add any tags, but you're welcome to do so if you're using Azure tags or billing purposes. Um, I'm gonna click review plus create. And then it's gonna go through the final validation. And once the validation has passed, you can click create and create the Azure Virtual Network Gateway. Now bear in mind, if you've never created an Azure Virtual Network Gateway before, this process can take anywhere between 
20 to 30 minutes. Um, it's one of the longest time consuming Azure resources to create. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video. And once this resource has been created, I will resume and we will carry on with the next steps. Okay, now that the virtual network gateway deployment is completed, let's proceed with the rest of the steps. Click on Go to Resource to go back to the Azure VPN or virtual network gateway that you just created. Click on Point to Site Configuration. And in here, click Configure Now. In here, give a unique address space. I'm going to put 192.168. Dot 44 dot 0 slash 24 um, and tunnel type I'm going to leave it as open VPN SSL authentication type I'm going to select Azure Active Directory um, and in here we need to put some information now this is unique to each environment so make sure that you put the correct um, information as per your tenant so in here we're going to copy this bit and we're going to put the Azure AD tenant ID, which I'm going to copy from here. And audience, I'm going to get that value from this Microsoft documentation. It's a static value, so you're going to also pretty much going to end up using the same value as this. Um, so I'm just going to go back and put that in the audience. And the issuer, um, we're going to put this value in here um, and followed by your unique Azure AD um, tenant ID, which I'm going to copy again from here and paste it in here. So that's all that you have to fill up. I'll put um, these links in the YouTube description box below um, and you can get it from there. Once you have filled out this information, click save. The next thing that we need to do is once this is saved, we need to register the Azure um, VPN uh, application. So um, for that, I'm gonna to refer to this Microsoft documentation, which has the um, correct URL. So again, we're going to use the public one. 99% um, of us will use the public one unless it's a very special case for you. You're using other um, Azure instances, but copy the, the public um, URL in here and um, just paste it to the same um, browser window, but in a different tab. In here, I'm going to log in using my global administrator account and you will be asked to accept um, the permissions. So click accept and this application will be um, registered in your Azure AD. Now by default, since you have given admin consent to this um, application, Azure VPN application, um, it's going to be available for all users. And I do not want that to happen. I want to control access to Azure Client VPN. So click on the um, Azure Client VPN, go to properties, and in here, assignment required, click yes, and click save. So while we are um, in here, by default, it has added the um, global administrator account. Um, but I've got another test user that we're going to use in the demonstration. So I'm just going to add the test user as well. Um, so let me go back and make sure that the settings have been saved. It has, so which is great. Um, that's it, guys. So the next thing is to try and connect to the VPN first of all, and then try to connect to our virtual machine using RDP to confirm the connectivity. This is the test machine that we're gonna use for this demonstration. So first of all, um, as an end user, 
what we need to do is we need to make sure that Azure Client VPN application is installed. So open your Microsoft Store and search for Azure VPN and you will see Azure VPN Client App. Click on that and then click Get. While that's happening, I'm just going to go back to our VPN gateway that we just created. From here, we need to download the actual client VPN or pointer site VPN configuration. So go back to pointer site configuration, click download VPN client. So this should download the VPN client to your um, computer. You can email it to your end users. So I'm just going to put the VPN client configuration file in here. Okay, so be mindful that it's going to download in a zip folder. So right click, um, let me just get rid of that. So right click on it and click extract all and click extract to extract the files. Um, so the file that you want to import is this one here. So it's under Azure VPN folder. So let me just close this off. Okay. So Azure VPN client has been installed successfully now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click open. You can pin it to the taskbar if you like, if you want to create a shortcut. So um, the next thing that we need to do is, let me just get rid of that. Next thing we need to do is import the VPN configuration that we just um, downloaded. So it's in here, go to Azure VPN, double click on it, and it'll just pre-populate all the information for you from the XML file and click save. And as you can see, you've got your um, Azure Point Site VPN profile set up. Now, the next thing to do is connect. When you're connecting for the very first time, you will be asked to log into your Azure AD account. In here, I'm going to put my test user account, which we assign as a user to the Azure AD Enterprise application for Azure VPN client. So make sure all users who are permitted to use this VPN are already included in the users and group assignments in the enterprise application first before trying this step. So put the password in, sign in, you'll be asked to um, complete the MFA verification. I'm going to do that right now. And it should update. Okay. I don't want this to happen. I'm just going to sign into this app only. Um, and it should connect very shortly. So now it is connected. Green means you're good to go. Connected. Let's RDP into it using the private IP address. And in here, I'm going to obviously get asked to put the credentials for the virtual machine that I'm connecting to. Um, and let me put the credentials in. Okay, and click OK. Take this box, and we are connecting to the Azure virtual machine from my home network using the Azure point to site VPN connection that we just created. So guys, there you go. We have verified that everything's working as expected. This is all that I wanted to talk to you about during this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, help me reach thousand subscribers. If you've got any feedback or questions, make sure to put them in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.